Line 6 have just launched the brand new Catalyst Amp Series. It's a series of amps that have been designed to be simple but versatile, affordable but carry all of the power, punch and tone that you would want from an amp. You've got two channels, six amp models, effects on board and a very versatile set of output options. Ross Bailey from Line 6 was kind enough to come down to the sunny south coast of Brighton to give us a little demo of of the amp, show it to us, let us see what we thought of it, and answer some of the questions that you might have about this new amp series. So Catalyst's kind of um, a much simpler offering from us. Uh, it's really simple, two channels, uh, and you choose what you want channel A to be and what you want channel B to be. Now we do use the HX modeling, uh, um, but what we've created is six completely original amp models. Uh, from clean to absolutely filthy. So they're not really based on anything. They're just sort of souped up amps. Now, when you think of Line 6 amps, there is obviously a big elephant in the room that we need to talk about. And that, of course, is the Spider. Now, the Spiders, they were good amps in their own right for what they were designed for, despite what all the meme pages on Instagram tell you. But it is worth pointing out right from the off that this amp is nothing like the Spider. Spider's kind of got all of the things in it. Um, and it's great. This is a much more, like I say, back to basics approach. You you, you have a, a good variety of things to, to mess around with, but there's no menus. Um, you know, everything that's important is just right at your fingertips. So much more like you would find on just a one or two channel kind of valve amp. So super simple choice, but not too much choice very much kind of plug and play. The user interface has been completely stripped back to make it so much more simple to use. The sounds are much better on board and my goodness do these pack one hell of a punch. responds perfectly in the way that a valve amp would if you were driving it to within an inch of its life and because it's got an attenuator on board so you can drop the wattage as well as the master volume you can get that break up dirty amp tone without blowing your windows out. So on the back yeah you've got a power scaling switch which um, is a different design to what you might be used to so you've got full 100 watt, uh, 50 watt, half watt uh, and then nothing, so if you wanted to do silent recording, then you can do that too. But it's designed to get rid of the Fletcher Munson thing, so if you were using the master volume, you, you've got your sound dialed in, and as you bring that master volume down, the sound will change. Uh, so if you're 
you're at a gig or something and you've got everything just cooking nice and sweet, you can take this home, bring the wattage down and it won't actually change the sound. There's a specifically designed Line 6 1x12 speaker in the 60 watt and the 100 watt and on the 200 watt it's a 2x12. Let me tell you, it really, really moved some air. I mean, everything in this room was rattling when we were demo. <laughs> does the amp sound good in itself but you can get yourself a lot of headroom on this amp to make it a perfect pedal platform so that you can have an amp and still have all of your effects that you normally use not only that but it's also got an effects loop on board so you can use it just like you'd use any other amp Flexibility and versatility is really the name of the game when it comes to these guitar amps. Output options such as XLR Direct Out with loads of cab emulation options, as well as things like USB capability to record directly into a computer, MIDI functionality, and loads, loads more, just further add to that cause of flexibility. Yeah, so the USB, uh, there is an, uh, an editor for it. Uh, so that will give you deep parameters, um, things like sag uh, and hum for the amp models. You can get in to do note values, uh, rates and depths and all that good stuff for things like modulation and delay. But there's a two button foot switch uh, that you can get as an optional extra, which will just change channel and add the effect. But what the USB also does is uh, it's a recording output too. So you can record direct with a USB or it does have an XLR DI out. And again, through the editor, you can actually change per amp model kind of what cabinet or what mic you're using, which is fantastic. It just ticks as many boxes as it possibly can for the modern musician. Price-wise, I wouldn't say it's an entry-level amp. I'd say it's maybe a step above that. However, I do still think this is a great amp for beginners. And not only that, but it's an amp that I think you could take with you all the way through your musical journey, from your first three chords to your first three stadium tours, and never really outgrow it. Not at least until you can afford your own roadies to lug up your five valve amps and 70 speaker cabinets every night on your world tour. So it can appeal to beginners, um, but I think even more discerning players or people that do gig or, or record, it, it feels like great to play. So yeah, someone that's been playing valve amps for 30 years, you know, they're absolutely going to plug into this and it's going to feel familiar, not just sound familiar, but feel familiar. And that's a big thing for people that use valve amps is that feel and those dynamics. Little things like rolling the volume down uh, on the guitar to clean things up, you know, it does all of that. Um, which has always been a big part of the HX modeling. If you're a heavy gigger who's tired of lugging their really heavy valve amp rig all the way up the stairs of a venue, or if you just want something that's versatile and simple to use at home with easy control over the volume, then this is a great addition to that market. Thanks so much to Ross for the sneak peek of these really cool new amps. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let us know what you thought of them in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.